Hello everyone, my name is Aditya, I am a cloud solution technologist at Oracle and today I am going to demonstrate the private networking capability of the cloud shell. For this demonstration, I have deployed a compute instance in a private subnet and will be accessing the instance from the cloud shell. Let's get started. I have opened the cloud shell and I have copied a private key in the cloud shell directory to access the instance. The default network selected is public. So if we try to SSH to our private instance, it fails. Now let's click on the drop down to change the network from public to private. Private network definition allows us to save the private network for future use. Ephemeral private network setup is a temporary network that is only valid for the length of your cloud shell session and will not be persisted to your list of defined private networks. Let's create a private network definition. Select the appropriate VCN and subnet. Only VCNs and subnets in your home region are available. If you need to access a subnet in another region, you can use a remote peering connection to extend the accessibility. A subnet chosen must have at least one non-reserved IP address available. You can also optionally select one or more network security groups to use. Let's click on use as active network and hit create. This will create an endpoint in the selected subnet. You can also mark your private network as a favorite. Cloud Shell session is now connected to your private network as indicated in the networking dropdown. Let's try to SSH into our private instance. Now we can SSH into our private instance without using public network and any type of Bastion service. Use cases for this feature include Accessing private MySQL instances Fetch packages from a private repository, manage private OK resources, and as we saw today, SSH into a private instance. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com. Thank you for watching the video.